Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Welcome to Path of the Titans, or Path of Titans, or something like that. Um, yeah, this is the game that actually won the poll I put out the other day. So this is what we'll be this is what we'll be recording now. I will say Elden Ring also did quite well, so I might do an episode of that because I haven't played it in a while and I kind of would like to. <clears throat> but for now, we'll uh, we'll be doing this. And yeah, I'm so uh, I'm I'm glad this one won. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do want to play Hogwarts and Persona Five. It's just that. Especially Persona takes a, a while to do, so you can't, um, you know, th th that's going to be just such a long game. And it's like, man, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, it's like, oof, that. I'd really like to have more free time available to dedicate to working on it, you know? And I just don't have that at the moment, so. <clears throat> Oop. <clears throat> hmm, excuse me. But uh yeah, it's uh it's good to be oop, we're running lot we're running a scam right there, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. It's uh good to be back on this game. Again, this is Path of the Titans. I am on a community server. <clears throat> so there are mods at play. But I figured uh, you know, since this is the first time we're playing this, um you know, I play as one of the quote-unquote canon or or like actually in the fully in the game dinosaurs. This this is a juvenile Allosaurus. This is a male. Uh, I named him Big Al in honor of the Allosaurus in Walking with the Walking with Dinosaurs special. <clears throat> Let's get my stand back real quick. And for those of you that don't know, this game is very much like the Isle. If you know what the Isle is, it's a dinosaur survival game where you play as a dinosaur and try to survive. Very self-explanatory. <clears throat> but there are a lot of things that make it quite different from the aisle, and for reasons that we'll get into. Uh, firstly, you do not have a scent button, really. Like you don't, you can't use scent to um, to track things. Although, I mean, you don't really need it. I find there's uh, more than enough map markers that tell you where things are. And yes, there is a map that I can actually go to. And oh my god, does that make my life... S that is easily worth the trade-off for the scent marker. For scent. So, it's so worth it. But yeah, I'm a fan of both games. Although, I think this one has a lot of features that... That, that give it quite a bit of difference. And for my particular play style, I do enjoy it more. But I still enjoy the aisle as well. And uh, you say right here, we'll, we'll get into this guy in a second. Now, this guy should... Real by his size, this should be quite a tough prey item for me to handle, but you know. Main character powers activate! Except not really, because this is a community server, so everybody's the main character. I'm also playing with Allosaur at playing as an Allosaur, as you can see there. See that red bar? That's my health bar. But above it is what I want to focus on. It's that that yellow bar that's slowly filling up is my growth meter. And obviously as it uh, as it fills. I will grow. Now, <clears throat> a reason I wanted to do Allosaurus is because I actually was hoping it would be fast enough that I would be able to, you know, have some real progress. This does have passive growth on it, so that that's a very good thing. <clears throat> that's the thing about games like this and the Isle is that y it can take a long time to get fully grown. But what the. Let me pick up the lake weed. This sh this stuff is borked. Uh, by the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And turn on notifications so you never miss a uh, video update. And uh, all that good stuff. It really does help me out and I greatly appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> what this game does have, again, uh, over the aisle, is the quest implementation system. Now, it's very basic, and in some ways, I think kind of, an I think it's a little bit, a little bit annoying, but, uh, it works for what it is. 
And it's just a little something to do, so you're not just, like, aimlessly wandering around. Now, what my hope is, is to be able to grow a little bit and, like, maybe get into a fight or two, but I, I don't see that happening right away. And one rule I want to implement is that if I die, um, you don't automatically restart as a juvenile again. You actually, you only lose some of that growth bar. You don't lose all of it. You don't just go right back to square one. So, oh, here we go. Here's this little, oh, hey, hey. Okay, well, this is going to go about as well as anyone would expect. <laughs> Left clicks, yeah, there's no way. I could try and outrun him. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be able to do so, but I could try. Are you f really? <laughs> you can't get over the rock, over the log. Ah. Yeah, against one of them, I probably could have handled that, but two, forget it. <clears throat> okay, so I guess since I died, um, what I was gonna use as the rule. Uh, was that I had to switch. Because you can see, I've got a lot of different dinos here. Um, and the other thing I didn't do, by the way, is I didn't hold down X where I could have... Oh, I'm still here. <laughs> but you can see, it, it does take quite a bit of your bar down. Like, I lost all my growth, but that's okay. Uh, that shouldn't be a big deal at all. <clears throat> I think it did put me in a different area, though, so that's good. Well, no, it didn't. Not really. Now, they both have a body there, so they won't bother me. This is a semi-realism server, so shouldn't be too big a deal. That that should actually keep them going for quite a while. I think. I And I, I probably could have taken them on either way. Uh, taken them on if it had just been the one. But it was both of them, so that was that went about as well as... You say, I'm like, all right, one I can probably take on the, take on the Nicta Tyrannus, and that's what that is, which is kind of a giveaway as to what server this is. Actually, no, it's not, because there's a lot of them that happen. Hey, look, there's this guy. <clears throat> oh, he's lagging a little bit, too. There's actually a few servers that have the Nic Nicta Tyrannus enabled, but if you know anything about it, you know where it comes from. And, um, yeah, that's all I'll say, just, uh... Uh, Ela, Ela Nicta, that kind of thing. So just a quick shout out to the to them because that's actually a really great, uh, really great Isle community, and Path of Titans. But yeah, I will say, in spite of the fact that I died, that was a nice little fight right there, and that that's exactly the kind of stuff I wanted to catch. I'm like, oh, I won't get that when I'm a little baby, but I did. <clears throat> and how about that? The other issue I had there was I was out of stamina from just running around. So lesson learned, just don't do that. Just don't run around like, a, like an idiot. I'd like to go explore some different places, but I also want to maybe try and get my revenge on one of those guys at some point. I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, don't try it. I mean, I say don't try it, but if they do, they're just going to kill me again. Although, I don't... I think that'd be against the rules. Because they already have a body unless they ate it all. But then they should be full, so they shouldn't need to kill me. But they could still attack me if I'm in their territory, so... See, I'm just trying to collect my lake weed here. <clears throat> this looks like kelp that's just floating on the surface. As you can see, this is a very pretty game. 
And I, I actually like this, um, I like this art style a lot better than the aisle. Um, now, when I say that, what I'm referring to is the original aisle, and that's the, whoa, okay, well, you're going for a swim. Oh, you're getting them too, okay. I'm waiting for, like, the big, the big, like, fuck off Sarkasukas to come out of the water and kill us both. <laughs> But yeah, I had, a, as you can see from mine, uh, from my list of characters there, I also, I have a fully grown Nicta Tyrannus as well that I could be playing, but I don't really want to be playing it, so I'm not going to. Maybe another time, but I wanted to do a little bit of just like, let's play as a baby on camera. I don't know if this will become a series, and if it is, I'm going to have to make some rules about, like, switching characters. <clears throat> I think going back to what I was saying, um, you know, this is, you know, it's, uh, you die past the controller. In this case, you die, switch characters. I'm not doing that with this because this is the first one, so. And it was like I was alive for all of, like, five minutes. Ooh, let's go over here and check this out because this is a nice little thing. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know what we're heading to, if you look on my map there, top right of the screen, we're in the Hunter's Thicket. But up up, oh, up there is a little marker. And that marker refers to something called the Home Cave. And you can... And I'm not going to enter it because it kind of messes with some of my quests, but... Like... Oh! Ow! Man, fall damage is a real bitch in this sometimes. You know what? What? Uh oh. You know what? We're not gonna go there. Uh, just know that it, it's a safe zone. Like you can't be attacked by anyone in there. <clears throat> oh dear. Okay. Okay, my quest just changed, actually, so that's fine. <clears throat> but yeah, I think what I'll, what I'll end up doing if I make a full series out of this is, um... Like, one of the things I'll do is, like... I can't just, like, stay in one area, and it's like I'll probably have to do get really good at editing for that because we're going to have to do a lot of cutting between growth because, as you can see, that bar is filling up real slow, and we're already, like, 12 minutes in, so not a great <clears throat> not a great time if I prefer to do, like, half-hour to 40-minute episodes, and this one might be shorter than that. But another thing, as I mentioned, Elden Ring was the runner-up. And since I've already started a Let's Play for Elden Ring, might as well continue it. So I think I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, too. Ooh! I got a Dinosuchus down there, if I can get to it. Without dying. Can we parkour here? Yes. Yes, we can. I am hungry that I could enough that I could hunt it, but I'd rather get my stam back first. That Dinosuchus, by the way, is a player and it's a baby, but it's it could still kill me. But hey, at least there's people like getting on here. Let me let me regain stam. <clears throat> Alrighty, we're back, and unfortunately I have the home cave debuff for some reason, but whatever. 
I guess I nest. I guess I like rested too close to it. Oh, by the way, let's uh, let's lay down. Laying down, by the way, is H because I want to show something here. If we go to sleep, you can do this without it. You press tab and you go to your character. <clears throat> and we've got all these cool skins that we can mess with. Ooh, these actually that actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> I kind of like that one. And it's unlocked. Interesting. Huh. Oh. What the f Oh. No, that's the wrong thing. Oh, no, you have to buy it. All right. Um... Yeah, we got lots of cool skins here, but I'm here for the abilities. You can see we've got our claw attack there. Got metabolism. Of course, we have the bite. I wonder if we get another bite ability. Because a lot of these things, when they have a little description that, it t that tells you what the ability does or, li or like how it works. Make sure to click tab there. <clears throat> let's go hit. Let's go try and kill some uh, Didelphodon. I actually like that and the use of that. It's like Didelphodon was a prehistoric mammal. Um, in in the model for this game, it looks very much like a Thylacolio, just very small. So I wonder if it was related to them. Uh, it probably was a marsupial, but at least I believe so. Feel free to correct me on that. Yeah, this little claw symbol means you've got one of these burrows here. If we go to this burrow and we dig it up uh, enough, something will come out. You don't have to, like, hold the button. Just press E once and you'll you'll do the interaction. Oh, that one actually looks like the Walking with Dinosaurs Didelphodon, too. Aw. Aw. Poor guy. I get a I get some quest completion and some dinner. <laughs> yeah, just like the aisle you have food and water meters that you have to watch out for and take care of, so <clears throat> but yeah, I think as far as this goes, we grow pretty fast. But I think if I do make a full on playthrough out of this, I'm going to pick us. I'm going to use, I'm going to at least start out with a faster growing creature. <clears throat> I was like, I may eventually play play my Rex and things, but I'll, what I'll try to do is try and get my Apexes up off camera or something like that, just so that it's more fun when I use them because I can actually do things instead of just, like, trying not to die for six hours. <laughs> that is the one thing I, I think is a bit of a detriment to these games. Is, while I'm okay with it requiring... Oh. Oh. What are you gonna do? You really gonna try that? No. Oh, are you gonna give me a piece of meat? Oh. 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 That's cool. I'm gonna get out of here before they decide to make me dinner. There's three of them there. Those are Alioramus, I think. I don't know what Alioramus is, other than that it is a theropod dinosaur that looks vaguely like a member of the Tyrannosaur family. 
Uh, if someone in the comments that knows paleontology and knows what that is, please, please feel free to tell me. get my stand back here <clears throat> oh the way you sit look at it <laughs> oh but yeah doing quests nets you a little bit of a boost to your growth for a very short time but when you have passive growth enabled that actually matters quite a lot Oh, a little tired here. But it is what it is. Okay. But yeah, I think this will be a shorter video today. Just thought I'd capture, get a little bit of gameplay in. See how y'all like it. If you, uh, le like, let me know in the comments if you'd be down to see me do, like, more of a full playthrough of this. I, I, I'd love to. But it, it is... Again, an investment in time, and it's going to need need some lo real love and editing to do it. <clears throat> or I can just do something with more, like, fun clips and stuff. Like, whatever, you know? Like, I'm down for whatever. It's just going to take a little bit of figuring out what we're going to do. But I do think this is a nice break from Ark. And I will also, as I said, I will also be playing Elden Ring. Because that one came in close, and I want to continue working on a Let's Play that I've already started. So. <clears throat> oh, this one looks a little different. Like a yellow. I think I'm full. No, I can eat a little bit. I love the animation in this game. It looks real good. <clears throat> By the way, you won't find this game on Steam. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Actually, give me a sec while I grab a drink here. And I will tell you what this is from. Okay. If you want to get yourself Path of the Titans, the first thing you need to know is it will cost you 30 buckaroos USD. Um, United States dollars. But, um, you can find it by googling Alderaan Games, and you will find it under that. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, a quick shout out to them, because they made a great game out of this. I think, as I said, it's a lot like the Isle, but any game where you're playing as a dinosaur where other dinosaurs are present, I think is automatically going to be. Like, just by virtue of how it operates, like, uh, of the way in which the game works. Oh, excuse me. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> Damn, what is with this frog in my throat? Anyway, yeah, by virtue of the way the game operates, it's just you're always you're like it's always gonna have some similarities to uh, other to other games of its type. But ooh, oh, we don't need that. But yeah, I think they're different enough that it that it justifies its existence, and it's a lot of fun in its own right. <clears throat> and like I said, I, when I speak of the Isle, what I'm talking about is the original Isle, not Evrima. <coughs> which is also, which is, you know, the improved Isle. And in my opinion, uh, you know, when it's, when it's finished and ready, it'll be real good. Oh, what the? Was that a leaf? I think that was a leaf that just flew in front of my face. 
I thought that was a pterosaur. There is a pterosaur around here called Thalassodromius. <clears throat> it kind of looks like a Tapajara from Ark, but it is not. And speaking of, I figured I'll, I'll say it now when we're talking about um, Ark. Uh, you may have picked it up from uh, my community post that, uh, yeah, the next Ark Survival Evolved Let's Play I do is most likely going to be a Fear Evolved Let's Play. Now, what map that's going to be on, what other mods, if any, we're going to use, you know, that's all to be determined. And right now I'm on my break, so I'm going to do as little thinking about that as possible. Uh, so for now, let us worry about other things. Like finding this Didelpidon. I apologize that this is not the most entertaining of footage, but... You know, this is a lot of fun. I think what I may do when I do the full, when I do a full gameplay of this, if I do, yeah, I think I will just, uh, I think I'm going to have to just, uh, like, learn to edit more. And pick faster growing creatures. That was unfair. That was straight up unfair. <laughs> yeah, you can see there that, like, Triceratops symbol there above my bite. That is the growth buff. Yeah, let's see if I can get into one more scrap with like a in a fair fight, and then we'll we'll go from there. So I'm gonna head down towards the burn the burn into forest here, just to show you guys a bit more of the locations in this game. <clears throat> oh, well, that was easy, but we haven't even gotten to the good part yet. That is one thing I love about these games, is just traveling around and seeing the sights. Like, seeing what there is to see. Oh my god, look at that night sky, it's beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> and this is what the night sky would look like over all of our heads, if not for light pollution. You know, it's really a shame what city lights do to that. And how far you have to go in the world, out of the way in order to see a beauty like that in the middle of the night. But it is stunning. <clears throat> Man. I know it's called the Burnt Forest, but god dang. This is actually a really cool place. Really, game? You want me to collect rocks? Watch, this water is going to be toxic. Yep, it sure is. Salt water. If I drink it, it will dehydrate me more. Thankfully, I'm not really that thirsty, so I don't need to worry about it. So this is a cool location, and it's actually close enough to Hunter's Thicket, as you can see on my map, <clears throat> that I'm down to just kind of cycle between areas for a little bit while growing. But yeah, let's see if I can find one more scrap before we call it a video. Maybe not. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Yeah, it's actually getting to the point where I think we're going to have to call it, but... <clears throat> Yeah, okay. I think we're going to call it. So here's what we do. We're going to go to sleep. <clears throat> which is what I'll be doing soon enough in real... Oh! Hello! Where's your buddies? Oh, don't do it. What What are you do? What are you doing? Ugh. Sorry about that, had to pause for a bit. What is this guy doing? Actually, he's probably long gone because I had to look away from the screen. He was booking it. Oh, he's right there. What are you doing, pal? Oh! Oh, 
Uh, did he say something in chat? No, he didn't. Oh, okay. Nope. No, I think we're done here. Yeah, I know, I'm a bit of a coward, but at the same time, there's two of them. <laughs> I thought there was only one. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> we're not having that one. Yeah, I, I, I like to... I do actually like to survive, so that means picking your battles appropriately. Uh, as as with Ark, pick your battles. Know your terrain, know your target. Uh, I'm like, alright, that guy's pretty big, he's probably going to be a challenge... <clears throat> uh, are you gonna try okay I'm not gonna mess with the with him because that guy that guy's with them but like if he comes over and he starts and he starts trouble he's gonna have trouble that that's sort of my policy here you can see actually we have grown a little bit and we're uh, getting close to two to two um two bars i guess i guess that's what you'd call it yeah let's get a drink and then we'll call it an episode oh oh hold on we got something over there <clears throat> Wow, this actually turned out to be a much more eventful uh, episode than, or like, eventful, eventful show than I thought. Like I wasn't expecting much to happen, but hey, guess you guess you can't have a dull moment, right? Because we've all had those moments if you've played Path of the Titans or the Isle, where you'll spawn in and you'll spend like the first what, like three hours doing absolutely nothing because you're completely by yourself. Man, I'd be down to get a collab going when when playing this too. You know, just get a full pop. Like, actually, that sounds like a great idea. Just get a full pack of something and just go hard on it. That sounds like a great idea. <clears throat> but yes, I think for the moment, that is going to do it for for this for this showing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. But uh, yeah, this has been TBT. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.